Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've got a little extra video for you that I've made with uh, Tracy Kallestein. Castlestein and she's been good enough to help me uh, to do uh, making a candle and we've used the colours and the uh, fragrances from the book. Uh, well, she had a fragrance but um, it's four fragrances in uh, one and it's orange, ginger, uh, black pepper and wood and we've used, um, she's made an orange candle uh, on my request for Halloween and for Christmas so I hope you will enjoy the um, video that has been made today by uh, uh, Tracy and me and also getting into the spirit for Christmas and Halloween. If you would like to order candles then look at the details below and also if you would like to learn how to make candles or get any advice contact Tracy by all means. Or also Tracy got back to me because I had one question uh, is it all organic? Yes it is organic and also animal friendly it hasn't been nothing has been tested on animals or um, other things it's also environmental friendly there is no um, uh, palm oil used it's coconut oil and uh, others you will hear it in the video now orange stands for uh, lifts spirits up and the joy of angels to you uh, from angels to humans Ginger is also power, love, money and success and uh, I couldn't find the meaning on black pepper, I still have to do that and the colour means general success, property deals, legal deals and justice and also vibrant uh, hue of the orange it means ambition, working work and career workings, strength and individuality. So I hope you uh, will enjoy the video and watch the uh, um, what you will call it information below in the description box. Please like and share, and I'll see you in the next next video next week in the witches video. It's already scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday, so watch out for the videos. If anybody would like to work with me, um, reflexologist for the face. Um, for example, I'm trying to get hold of that person from the London company on Life and Soul. Um, I would also, or oils, if anybody does oils, please contact me because we are working from this book, The Workplace of the Witch and the Healthy Witch. So if you have any suggestions with regards to health and uh, uh, detoxing, de-stressing, then or um, anything to do with the witches then come forward and let me know take care and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi trace how are you i'm good thanks how are you i'm fine thanks and i it's nice weather today a little bit less rain here so you might see the sunshine ah, i see you're in the kitchen you're busy melting the candle already the wax yes, i am Oh, great. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward since we uh, arranged the uh, to do this. Um, do you have, by, I, you most probably follow me because I know you follow me on YouTube. You've seen the Witches series and that's what we're yep. making the candles for. And I'm already in the mood or in the theme of Halloween. <laughs> and we've just had the Mabe, uh, Mabon uh, fest, uh, festival or calendar marking that's autumn the fall equinox and we're going on to halloween which is sam hain um calendar yeah. marking halloween in our calendar so have you got any i was wondering have you got any halloween shapes for candles yeah certainly have i've got these here at the minute ah uh, right you've got the bat the pumpkin the witch uh the ghost another sort of pumpkin and a skull here. What is that? A skull. 
Oh, skull, right. Okay. So, uh, if anybody would like any of them, can you make them before Halloween? Yep, yep. Great stuff. Yeah, we're doing them for and, Halloween. And are you doing any colouring or scenting in the candle? Candle. Sorry, can you say that again? Are you doing any um, uh, putting a scent in or a colour in the candle? <clears throat> yeah, I'll be doing both today. So I will be doing uh, the uplift is the fragrance I'll be using and the colour orange to make an orange candle. OK, because of Halloween. So say again. So that's because of Halloween. That's because of Halloween, yeah. OK, well, um, I've I've got the book here from the uh, Workplace and Spell uh, by uh, Marla Brooks. And um, I've looked up uh, because I thought I, yeah, uh, because what, what is in the scent? What is in the scent? So, what is what, sorry? What is in the scent? Which herbs are in the scent? All right, so, sorry, so you've got um, wood, black pepper, you have um, orange, and um, what was the fourth one? There's another one, I forgot it. Ginger? Ginger, yeah. Okay, great stuff. That's quite uh, autumny smells. And I know that um, uh, you said it was the scent was uplifting and orange does mean uh, it lifts spirits up and joy of the angels to the humans. And I work with the angels, so that's lovely. And ginger means power and money, success. And um, it's also the secretal chakra. Um, and that is also the, the birth, the, the chakra for birth, new things. And yeah. that is, um, we are going into um, the autumn and it also means harvesting. And so we're going to start up again, something new. So um, in the, the orange ca uh, color, it means um, ambition, creati creativity, career working, strength and individuality and the witch uh, for in the witch's world um, the candle rep represents general success property deals business deals legal matters and justice so that is awesome yeah and we're in libra which means in the tarot justice oh brilliant yeah and the justice card means libra right so great Oh, it's all, it's all matching up. Yeah, that's great. So uh, you're working in magic. You've got magic in your hands, I think. <laughs> because I, can you tell us a little bit about how you make candles uh, before you start pouring? Or... Yeah, of course, yeah. I've got everything uh, separate. So I'm just, the wax is literally just melted. So that's great. I can turn it off now. Um, so if I turn you towards the stove, which is where the magic actually happens, Okay. okay. Here we've got uh, a double boiler, and in there is all the wax. Okay. And so, what is it? What is a double boiler? So a double boiler basically means that the sides here, uh, in, in case water, so I heat it at the bottom like a pan. It's a bit like a bain marie. Okay, right. Keeps the water on the side, so I've now turned the stove off, but all the water is heated now to uh, sixty-five degrees which is the perfect melting temperature for this particular wax. Um, so this is now going to keep the heat in. So I can now go, I still need to work fairly fast, but not as fast now. OK, um, so shall we do the talking afterwards? Because I have got some questions like what types of wax and uh, also about the colours and the scent and how that it, whether you work with environmental friendly things. So if you show us how what to do next, the, the practical side of the candles, then we can talk afterwards if you like. You can ask questions throughout, that's fine. Um, first thing I'll show you is the glass that I've chosen. So this is a 20 centiliter glass. Um, and basically this is at the minute empty. So what I need to do first things is I need to put the wick, which is already been pre-whipped because you can see there it's been pre-whipped. And then I get the sticky dot and all I do is I stick the sticky dot underneath this side. And then I do this by sight to centre it. You can get centering tools, but I do this by sight. 
And all they do, because there is a slight indent in the middle anyway, if you get the touch of the light correctly. And all you do is you just gently place it. I can't see, sorry. So I can't, I can't lift it up at the minute. I'll lift it up in a second. Okay. I just need to make sure I've centered it correctly before I lift it up. You've got to do this bit by eye and you need it flat, really, on a flat surface. Um, uh, I suppose you have to center it correctly so that it burns away equally, I'm evenly. Now that that is now centered. Yeah, right. And then all I do is I just push that down so it doesn't lift up when the wax is getting poured. Because obviously with it being um, a sticky dot, which is part plastic, um, it in the past, these are actually really good. In the past I've had cheap ones that have, have shifted the wick. When it gets to the end, which is no good. I've not had that with these, which is great. So that's now the glass pre prepped for the wax going in. What I also do is I heat up the glass because by heating up the glass, it means that the wax isn't hitting the sides cold. And therefore, you get, um, it, you won't get splashback of instant cool wax, which can affect the candle. Um, and also, it won't um, mess up the candles. Uh, smoothness at the top because it can get a bit misshaped. So um, it's better to preheat your glasses so that you get a better pour as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ladle because people always say how do you get the wax out of the burner ladle? The old fashioned <laughs> ladle. So first thing I'm going to do is if you can see this here. No, I can't. I can't. I'll just Sorry, I'll just shift it this way a bit. Okay. So if you can see this. Yeah. This is a jug. And yeah. this is my scales. Alright, a good set of scales um, if you're going to measure out uh, exactly. Um, you stick the tub on. Yeah. Again, and then basically pour your wax in to the, to the amount of 200 grams. Because the, with wax and... and um, the fragrance, there's a ratio that you have to use um, and there's something called a fragrance load and you can't go more than 10% fragrance load. Okay. So if you're doing a 220 gram candle, you don't want to be putting you doing 200 grams of wax and 20 grams of fragrance. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what you need to be doing. You okay. Can't, can't be going more than that. You can go less, you can go anywhere from 5 up to 10. But okay. I like to put the maximum in so that when you're lighting the candle, you're getting the maximum fragrance around the room. Okay. Um, so that's more for me, quality assurance. So I'm just going to start pouring in the wax now. When do you put the fragrance and the colouring in? Afterwards? Yeah. So you've got to make sure the wax cools down to um, a certain temperature. And okay. that temperature is roughly about 55. Okay. And we're nearly there. 95, 96, 97, 200. Hang on. Uh, that's now 200. Right. And then what I then do, this is the bit that takes the longest. So this is where I now get my thermometer and leave it in this till I know it gets to 55, see what it currently is. So okay. you can be doing other things. So I'll just turn you back to me. You can be doing other things uh, while you're waiting for the wax to cool down. So literally all I'm doing is this is just on the side right now, just waiting to cool with the thermometer stuck in it. So I know the temperature at all times. So you can be doing things like I've bought myself a heat gun um, just to heat the sides up. It's easier. Some people have used hair dryers. It, I've tried it. It takes absolute ages. There's another way to do it, which is to put them in the oven at a very low heat just for 10 minutes, if no more. Uh, I think I've done five minutes and it was adequate enough heat. Okay. Um, just be careful picking it up, though, because obviously glass is hot and you don't want to burn your fingers. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the type of things um, that you want to be looking out for. The other thing that we're working with fragrance that I want to mention is really you should be wearing a mask. But if I'm wearing a mask today, that you won't be able to see what I'm saying, um, and also probably hear what I'm saying. It'll probably be muffled. 
Well, well just, uh, you, you talk very quickly and I'm foreign and it's, uh, I can't follow it sometimes. So <laughs> can you slow down <laughs> with talking, please? Sorry, yes. It, I'm, I'm, I find it so interesting because I just asked you a question, but you were busy, so I think it's better to ask now. With the wick, you to center it, I suppose you have to center it so that it burns evenly away. Yeah, so if you imagine that wasn't centered, yeah, slightly off center, all this side would burn and you'd be left with loads of wax on this side. Okay. So that, that needs to be centered. Okay, and um, you you obviously pour the scent uh, and the colour uh, in which uh, um, order? So at the minute the wax is here and this will have to cool down. That will have to cool down to 55. I cannot add fragrance and well you can, but I don't think it works as well. The cooler you put everything in, the better the finish. OK, so you've got a stronger scent instead of it evaporating, I suppose. Yeah. And which one do you put in first, the scent or the colour? You put the scent in first. OK. And the colour not far behind it. OK, lovely. OK, well, very exciting. Yep, yeah, we've just got to wait for it to uh, cool down. This is the long part, like I say, this is the bit that takes the longest. Did you stir whilst you were waiting, Tracy? Yeah, so always keep stirring the wax because, uh, as you can imagine, the outer um, goes a bit remains goes a bit cooler, and it's, sorry, and the inner gets a bit hotter. So it remains. So if you keep stirring, you'll get an accurate temperature. Okay. With the with the wax that's melted, so and in every couple of minutes to check the temperature. Okay, and that makes it cool down faster, I suppose. Well, it releases and the the heat and disperses the heat. It's a bit like if you have. Have you ever put soup in a microwave and only the outer is hot and the inner is cold? Okay, yeah. Very right. similar to that. So you have to stir to make sure that the heat is dispersed. Okay, and can you, the, the wax that you have left, um, can you reheat that? You can, you don't want to do it too many times, but I think the maximum I've reheated my wax is three times, um, just because I've put a large amount in the boiler. Um, but yes, you can reheat, but I tend to try and use up as much as I can, really. And what kind of wax are you using this time? Because I understand you've got different types of wax. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of waxes. Um, I know of at least 10 different ones, but the one that I use um, is called an RCX. So it's a rapeseed and coconut blend. Um, so there's no soy in it. So there's no palm in it. So it's very, it's very you know, eco-friendly. Uh, and it doesn't affect the environment, so and it's a cleaner burn. Is that a long burn candle or a short burning candle? Well, the one I'm making today is 20 centiliters, um, and on average, my the ones that I've burned that I've made that are this size have lasted me between 40 to 60 hours. Okay, interesting. Great, I'm looking forward to my candle. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so we're now at the time for adding um, the, the fragrance. So the temperature is correct at uh, 55 and it, when it's finally dropped. Really, you want to be wearing gloves as well because once this gets in your hands, it's like, you know, you still perfume on your hands and it stinks for ages. Um, so really, you should be wearing gloves, but again, just because I've got no nails at the minute, I need to be stuff. Okay. Oh, I can smell that already. Right, so I'm going to use a pipette. Okay, with this, make sure when you're washing them before you use the pipette again, there's no water in it because if you get any water in your wax, you need to throw all your wax away. Okay. Because it's very dangerous when water gets in wax. Okay. Does it burn or something? Uh, it doesn't burn. What it can do is spit. It makes the wax okay. spit, and it could it could be a fire hazard. Okay. So you don't want that. Well, I'm just going to put in 20 grams. And this decides to stay on. So the measurements are on the pipette? So I'm using the, um, the, the scales. Ah, okay.
Wow, that's quite a lot. You think it is, but it's not because you've got 200 grams of, of, of wax in there. And I'm only putting 10% in. Yeah, but it's nearly the whole bottle. It, it, you'll see in a minute, it's not, it's about the top third. It's only a 50 gram bottle. Ah. Uh. That's that done. I'm just going to put this in the over here. Out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on that. And then this is where you now have to stir for three minutes. Okay. So if you've got a time, a decent timer with you, use that. Um, if you, you know, stopwatch or whatever, that's, that's handy to have. Um, so whatever you, I mean, I've got my microwave in front of me that has a timer on it, so I'll, I'll just use that for now. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, so I'll just put this over here. Um, again, you need your thermometer. You don't want it dropping too low. So I'm now going to stir for three minutes. Okay. Well, at the minute we're on 46, so I need to get to wait till 49. Have you got any questions while we're waiting? So when are you going to put the colouring in? Uh, after a minute or two minutes? After three minutes of stirring. After three minutes of stirring. Okay. It, gets, it should be about, I mean, the oil's dropped now because of the, uh, sorry, the wax has dropped now because of the oil. We're now getting down to 44. So I will, um, so if you, I don't know if you can see this, I'll just move no, the camera down. No, 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 I'm seeing the toaster. So I'm literally just stirring the wax there. Yeah, well, I'm not. Yeah, now I can see. So okay. I'm literally just going to stir for three minutes. I use the thermometer just for ease, but you can buy sticks to stir with. But I can keep checking the temperature at the same time. Oh, that's very uh, handy to know. Thanks for that tip. Yeah. Are you planning to do any workshops uh, uh, with candle making? Uh, not this side of Christmas because I've got a lot going on with uh, other um other thing i've got going other courses that i'm currently doing myself okay um, but i will do in in january starting on a there will be um once a month a quick candle making workshop on, on how to do the basic candle basic tea light um how to, how to infuse reiki into a candle that kind of stuff oh that sounds interesting so if anybody would like to uh uh, make candles and can they get in contact with you? Of course, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, you, can, you can find me at Love Lizzie on Facebook. Okay. Or you can contact me via you, seeing as we uh, we, we chat that often. Okay. So, that, that's one minute, believe it or not. <laughs> Doesn't matter, just take your time. So, I might have to reheat the glass as well now. That's two minutes. So this is to make sure that the, the oil has completely been absorbed into the wax. Yeah. And um, bind, um, binded correctly. How much would uh, a 20 gram or 200 gram, what was the candle? So this is a, this will be a 220 gram candle. How much would that cost if people want to order it? Because I understand people can order it as well. Yeah, so um, I go off centiliters when I'm selling. So 20 centiliters is um, is a 12 pounds and the 30 centiliters is, is 15 pounds. And can people choose their own fragrance or yeah. where can where can they find the fragrances that you have on your Facebook? Yeah, so on Facebook I have a, a Love Lizzie group um, and on that group there is a, a list at the top that's pinned to the top and that gives me um, a list of, right we're there, that gives me a list of you, sorry, a list of what's, what's there. Fragrances so, and uh, and what type of waxes, I suppose? Yeah. Okay. So now I've got the colour and I'm literally, because it's so strong, I'm adding one drop. That is it. Wow. That one now, it's, it's that strong. It looks a bit like cooking. <laughs> Food dye. Can you, see, can you see the colour yet? I might add another drop, actually. Can you see the colour? Yeah. It looks like tea. 
Yeah, I might just add one more in. You don't need a lot with this, with liquid dye. You really don't. Is that uh, also environmental friendly? Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know. Um, everything I, I do buy, I do try and check where it's come from. Yeah. But the, this is like one of the first lot of dyes that I ever bought. Okay. When I first started. And I didn't check back then, but everything I've bought since May is. Okay. So, that um, looks like rather nice colour, actually. Uh, so that looks about ready. Okay. I'm just going to put the lid on so I don't spill it. And then I'm just going to heat it up again. So it's going to be quite loud, but I'm just going to heat it up again. Sorry, I just dropped the stop the video because of the noise and then uh, I've started a, a video again. So you've warmed up your glass. Yeah, warmed it up again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the centering uh, to the wick uh, holder on. And what okay. that will do is that will stop my wick from moving after I've poured in um, the, the wax. That's right. Okay. So I'm now going to pour it in, and it's just a, it's literally just a case of pour it in, um, but I will measure it. So I'll get my scales. Yeah, that's hot. Just be careful handling your glass when it is hot. Can you okay. still see what I'm doing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. So just very slowly pour it in. There's no rush whatsoever. Do you have to stop sometimes? No, just keep going till you get to the correct um, amount. Okay. With this one, it's 165 grams, and I've made extra just so I can do some um, wax moulds. Okay. Orange is my favourite. Right, so we're done. Right, so that's that. I'm just going to very gently remove that now. Myself. That's now done. Wow. What I do with anything extra is I then get something like the moulds I showed you earlier. Yeah. It's the case of pour it in. So, uh, which one is your favourite out of all these? Um, uh, I like the um, bat and the witch. Um, I like bat. all of them. But and do you <laughs> stick the wick in this afterwards or? No, this is just a wax melt. Oh, right, for the wax burner. Yeah, so this is just a wax melt. Oh, nice one. So you can use it in a, 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 an oil burner or a wax burner and they're with water or without water? Without water, I take uh, it. The the wax, yeah. Okay, this is a wax melt. So they don't um, add it to water. This is this goes on a, a wax burner. OK, and then it will scent, let go of the scent. OK, beautiful. And you, I did talk to you a couple of weeks ago and you were telling me the difference between uh, a candle burner and a wax burner. So yes. the wax, wax burner, the wax just melts. And can you reuse that again and again until it, dis it evaporates? Until the scent evaporates, yeah. The wax in a, um, I don't know why, but the, the wax in a wax burner the wax doesn't exactly evaporate, but the smell does. Okay. So, um, I think one of my uh, last melts that I did was a heart-shaped one, and I think I had that going for about a good 10 hours. Okay, great. So and can, uh, once the uh, scent is gone, can you put, uh, um, the, the, the wax will harden up again. Yeah. Um, can you put another scent in then afterwards? No, I'll just get rid of the wax and put another, another uh, I sell heart shape ones, just stick another heart in on, on your burner um, and, and just go again. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much. And um, how long will it take for the candle to harden? So that will take about, it starts to harden straight away a little bit because obviously the sides, the sides um, are going to start going cold anyway. Um, you can slow down the heating process by putting it in a cardboard box um, that you get in the post. 
uh, that helps maintain the heat so it'll slow down the heating process again and um, that will make the candle burn a lot better and have a smoother finish on the top which is what you're looking for um but i'd say in about an hour i would expect that to at least be majority hardened and in 24 hours completely hardened okay thank you very much and um if i've got any questions i'll certainly get back to you yep yeah, no worries Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to my candle. Take care, Trace. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Lizzie.